Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome to this week's weekend homemaking baking blog. So some things that I got up to in the kitchen just to kind of give some nice treats to the family and yeah, I was feeling creative. So did a few things and recorded them all to share with you guys. So you can see I've got these croissants marked down. That's of course why I do most stuff because I've gotten it at a really good price and it's Saturday uh, around lunchtime by the time I got home from Zumba so it's brunch <laughs> it's too late for breakfast it's sort of around lunch anyway my family will never say no to food so this is the opportunity for me to make something really nice so you've got the croissants here and I cut them in half and what I actually do is I toast them in the toaster just add a little bit of crunch and then I will put on top ham pineapple and shredded cheese. I thought it was actually really clever putting the croissants on the tray and then putting the shredded cheese because <laughs> I make a mess all the time when I'm cooking so at least this way melted cheese on the baking paper it, they can just pick that off as well so here's what it looks like when it's all finished and cooked and of course I just eat mine standing in the kitchen because that's what mums do I had to actually shred some more cheese because the packet I, that I had had run out. Um, we normally just get home brand, but the packet of shredded cheese that we had had been discounted down to work out exactly the same price as home brand. So I grabbed it. And then this block that's actually a chia block, which used to be coon cheese, uh, same thing, was marked down to $6 a block. So I grabbed only two. I really wish I'd grabbed more, but I was thinking to myself, I just know myself, I won't methodically sit there and shred it all and put it away nicely in bags to be frozen for later. <laughs> just, I wouldn't do it. So at least having the two blocks, it's taken us quite a few months to get through and we did get through it all without losing any to mold or stuff. But yeah, I, I think two blocks was definitely enough for us. We go through phases of cheese. Sometimes we use a lot, sometimes we don't use any. So now I'm just making the croissants for my daughter. She doesn't like ham, so she's just having pineapple with shredded cheese. The next day I actually made these sausage rolls. They are my son's favorite. Um, again, this is sort of like a bit of an afternoon um, thing. <laughs> I had planned to make them for lunch and I just got so busy doing other stuff. So it ended up being, yeah, an afternoon snack and yeah, then it sort of be leftovers for dinner and there was even a few leftovers for the next day. My daughter doesn't like to eat the sausage rolls, so my son very happily <laughs> enjoys that there's more for him. My hubby really likes them as well. Again, it's food, what can I say? But they tell me also it's because it's homemade, so they enjoy it. So I've just got the sausage mints that of course I got on clearance for about $3 for I think it's 500 grams. 
and then I shredded up a carrot and some potatoes and I've just mixed it all through. I don't add in any additional spices or anything like that, I just leave it as it is. I've got the puff pastry there so I just make two rows of the mixture and then cut it in half, roll it up and then I chop each log into four pieces prick it with a fork and then bake it in the oven for about half an hour. I do put the oven up though to about 220 degrees just to really make sure that puff pastry gets really firm because also it took me so long to prep everything so the puff pastry here has really defrosted and it got a little bit soggy by the time I got around to working with it. Next up, we're getting creative with these apples because there's about two kilos of them that we need to use up. And I got them for like 99 cents at the fruit and veg store, <laughs> thinking grand delusions that I'm going to do some things with them. So yes, <laughs> story of my life. So you would have just seen that there was the base of an apple crumble. Trust me, I did put the crumble on top. For some reason, I have no more footage, but I have made that crumble before there's a separate video on the channel that you can see and I'll try and remember to link it down below as well and then I also made these apple turnovers which are family favorite I don't worry about it looking fancy or anything like that because also what I want to use every square inch of the puff pastry so I just cut it into the four squares and then fold it over to make triangles today I sprinkled it with a little bit of cinnamon sugar because it didn't make my own to think about it just grabbed that out of the cupboard and then I baked them again in the oven at about 220 and I've got some left over there that will be probably someone's breakfast the next day and this is what they look like when they come out of the oven they certainly do not last long in our house <laughs> I was also cleaning out the cupboard and found this line brownie mix that I can tell you right now I got on clearance for two dollars at Coles and it says that it makes 16 brownies but whether it does or not I didn't stop to count but I can tell you it doesn't mean that it lasts any longer in our house so this is me basically just putting it all together I actually love cutting the brownie up because also I cut all the edges off because those are a little bit more crispier. Also, you know, chef's treat, need to have a little taste test. And then I will chop all the brownies up best I can. Um, <laughs> they're always different sizes. 
<laughs> I'm not very good at that bit. But yeah, everyone enjoys their ends cutting off, especially if I'm trying to take photos of the actual brownies. So they can still come and have like a little bit of a treat while I'm trying to get everything ready. And then I think that this next bit is my absolute favorite, which is sprinkling icing sugar all over the top. I think it just makes it look so pretty and also just gives that nice little bit of sweetness kick when you eat it. And again, I'm making some honey oat cookies for my daughter because they are her favorites and the only biscuits that she really does eat. So I'm more than happy to make some separate for her. I've made them heaps of times before on the channel so you can follow along that video, but you can just enjoy watching the process here today. Thanks for joining with me this weekend baking and cooking in my kitchen hope that you have enjoyed it feel free to check out the videos that i'll link below for you to do the recipes and i look forward to seeing you next time bye